Here is an exam style question on area under a curve, chain rule and equation of a normal. Figure 3 shows a sketch of a part of the curve with the equation y equals square root 4x minus 7. The line L shown in figure 3 is the normal to the curve at the point P with x coordinate 8 and y coordinate 5. Part A use calculus to show that an equation of L is 5x plus 2y minus 50 equal to 0. Please pause the video, have a go at part A and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So the equation of the curve is y equals square root 4x minus 7. This can be written as 4x minus 7 in bracket to the power a half. The first step is to find the gradient function dy over dx. So we can work out dy over dx using the chain rule. Bring down the power. Subtract 1 from the power so we get minus a half. Multiplied by the derivative of what we have inside the bracket which is 4. So if I simplify this, I get dy by dx is equal to 2 lots of 4x minus 7 to the power minus a half. Now to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point P, so the gradient of the tangent, we need to substitute the x coordinate of P into the gradient function. So we are evaluating dy by dx when x is equal to 8. We have 2 lots of open square bracket, 4 multiplied by 8, minus 7, close square bracket to the power, minus a half. Okay, so dy by dx evaluated at x equal 8 is equal to 2 over 5. This is the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point P, with x coordinate 8. Now, the gradient of the normal, in other words, the gradient of the line L, is the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. So it will be minus 5 over 2. So we've got the gradient of L and we know that L passes through P with X coordinate 8 and Y coordinate 5. So this is X1, this is Y1. So we can use Y minus Y1 equal M X minus X1 to find the equation of L. Let's substitute the values in. We've got Y minus 5 is equal minus 5 over 2 X minus 8. Multiply the entire equation by 2. This gives me 2y minus 10 is equal to minus 5x plus 40. Take everything to the left hand side. So if we do this we get 5x plus 2y minus 10 minus 40 which is minus 50 equal to 0 as required. This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B. The region R shown in figure 3 is bounded by the curve, the x-axis and L. Part B, use algebraic integration to find the exact area of R. Please pause the video, have a go at part B and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B of the exam style question. So in part B we want to work out the exact area R. Now before we work out the exact area R, I need to work out the x-intercept of the curve and the x-intercept of the line L. So in part B, curve crosses x-axis when y is equal 0. This implies that square root 4x minus 7 has to equal 0. Square both sides, so I've got 4x minus 7 is equal 0. So the x-intercept of the curve is 7 over 4. Now I'm going to work out the x-intercept of the line L. So line L crosses x-axis when y is equal 0. So I can substitute y equals 0 into the equation of line L. I get 5x minus 50 is equal 0. So x is equal 10. I can go back to my diagram. This x-intercept over here is 7 over 4. And this x-intercept over here is 10. Okay, right. So we want to work out the area R. So this area R, you can split it into two parts. Area under the curve plus the area of the right angle triangle. So this x limit over here is 7 over 4. This x limit over here is the x coordinate of P, which is 8. Okay, this part of the triangle, this x value here is 8. And over here, we have the x-intercept of the line L, which is 10. So the base of the triangle is 10 take away 8, which is 2. 
Now over here we have a point P. The y coordinate of point P is 5. So the height of the triangle is 5. To work out the area under the curve, I need to integrate the curve. So the curve has equation square root 4x minus 7, which is the same as 4x minus 7 to the power a half. Integrate it with respect to x. The lower limit is 7 over 4, and the upper limit is 8, plus the area of this right angle triangle, base times height divided by 2, so 2 times 5 divided by 2. Right, so I'm going to integrate this one over here, so how do we integrate this? Well, we have to take out 1 over the coefficient of x, which is 4, multiplied by 4x minus 7 to the power of half plus 1, which is 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2. So this becomes 1 over 4 multiplied by 2 over 3, multiplied by 4x minus 7 to the power 3 over 2. Okay, so this in turn becomes 1 over 6, lots of 4x minus 7 to the power 3 over 2. So the integral of this is this, 1 over 6, 4x minus 7 to the power 3 over 2, square bracket, lower limit 7 over 4, upper limit 8, plus, that simplifies to 5. So now I need to substitute x equal 8. So if I substitute x equal 8, I get 125 over 6. Take away, substitute x equal 7 over 4, I get 0, plus 5. So that plus 5 gives me 155 over 6. So that is the exact area of R, 155 over 6, unit squared. This completes part B of the exam style question and this teaching video. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.